character in the new comedy series White Van Man. That means taking over his father's painting and decorating business and becoming a general handyman. Fine, you'd think. But what happens when you're just not that handy? <laughs> Please welcome <laughs> Will Miller! <laughs> How are you doing, right? Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. 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 you. Nice hello. to see you. It's been a wee while since you've been yes, on the show. Yes, thanks for having me back on. I really appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. What kind, of, um, what kind of research did you do to become a white van man? Well, um, not much. My dad's a handyman. I okay. mean, he, he always used to fix stuff as a kid. If they, anything broke in the neighbourhood, they'd bring it to my dad's house. And he always used to look after the old women in the area, like if they had something broken so they didn't get ripped off, he'd go and oh, fix nice. it for them. It was really nice. But there was a time when I lived in Manchester where a van pulled up. I was getting a bag of chips and I was coming out of the shop with my bag of chips and a van pulled up, the side door opened and he said, do you want to buy a couch? And I said, no. And he went right and drove off. And he had a couch in the van. <laughs> Seriously. Just like that. I just thought, do you think I've not got a couch at home? So is that, I mean, did you work any of that into the comedy series? Um, any of these random things? Well, no, I mean, the writing's fantastic, in it? I mean, the first episode is proper chaotic, and the series isn't like that. I mean, it's, it's just the first day that Ollie gets thrown into this business. So sure. it's, the first episode is chaos, but it does calm down, and there's a lot of mm. sort of warmth in it. It's a comedy drama, so there's a lot of warmth and in it And they're showing well. episodes one and two? Yes, yes, they? tonight on BBC Three it'll be showing episodes one and two at half ten and then repeated again on, at nine o'clock on Friday. Okay. So what other scrapes does he get into apart from that one? Well, this is the, f the, the first episode, as I say, he walks into this world that he doesn't know anything about. Right. It's just chaos and his, his dad's been taken ill so he, he turns up to these jobs and the, the storylines are behind each closed door. Right. And, and he's working with a guy who is like the handyman's mate called Darren who would rather be in bed than at work. So mm. the pair of them just clash mm. and it makes his life a nightmare. I mean, there's scrimps and scrapes constantly and that girl there who is pregnant, we find out later, he's actually pregnant to the guy he was working with <gasps> and doesn't tell him and he gets into a right load of murder with it. But, oh, as I say, stay with it because the series does calm down it turns into a real comedy drama. It's good. It sounds like a good, uh, a, a good concept. And a handyman, we all want a handyman. I'd like a handyman. Are you a handyman at home? Oh, I'm rubbish. I'm, oh, I've got yeah. A, I, I, not inspired you just a little bit? No, I, I ain't Get handy work. Hammer, uh, do you know what I did, right? I put a telly on the wall yeah. and my wife won't let the kids go near it in case it falls oh, on them. <laughs> So what's the point? We might as well get someone around to do it. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm the thicker in the corner with the hammer going, what do I have to wait? And she, my wife, will order things, especially if it's flat pack. She yeah. loves flat pack. Oh, get yeah, the instructions out, yeah. count the oh, screws. No. You, know, it's no. what, you know what, well, I used to, <laughs> no, it is, I used to be married to somebody that used to put things up, not look at um, the instruction, I'd go, You'd be like, I'd finished, I'm like, how many screws are left? And you go, only two, I'll be like, well, that's better than last week. <laughs> yeah. that, that's me. And that's me. Is it? And you, you touched on, you know, obviously, the, the, the writing of the show is very, very funny, and that's yeah. what attracted you to the script. We get a little mention. <gasps> Loose Women gets Do a little you? mention. Do you? Yeah, let's yes. have a little look at this. I forgot. <laughs> the writing schedule's already in the van. If I get any more bookings, I shall try and tear myself away from the horrors of daytime TV and ring the mobile. Do not forget to pick up Darren. And you will need these. Thank you. Right, I'll just try and relax today, all right? I'll try and relax, he says. Have you seen loose women? Like beating yourself around the face with a woman's weekly. It's like beating yourself around the face with a woman's weekly. Lovely. <laughs> That's Clive Mantle who plays my dad. And yeah, yeah. He's a very old fashioned dad, and he was the handyman of the area. And everyone wants Tony back. It's like a community. Everyone knows everybody, and no one wants Ollie around. They're like, Where's your dad? We want your dad back. So <laughs> he's got to find his way into the community. They've got to get used to him, and it's just a scrimps and scrapes that happens. So if your wife was watching the show today, is she going to be all right with you, you know, flirting with Geraldine back there? I think she should be all right with it. Massage. <laughs> yeah. She's a belter, isn't she? A oh, she's a belter. I don't know. But over the top. So look, you're looking well, Tim. Have you been on a diet or? I, I did the whole New Year thing. I thought. I'm going to have to start running it. I don't like running. I've got bad knees from football, so yeah. I tend to I tend to used to just run, play football, and that used to keep me fit. So mm. now I've started running a couple of times a week, mm. and I've, I've I've tried to cut out carbs a little bit. Yeah. To make, make you grumpy. grumpy. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not because I think the, the the way you have to do it is don't cut out the things you enjoy. Now. I, st I can still eat stuff that I like. Meat. I just cook. Yeah. <laughs> I just Well, I just cook now. I cook a lot and, uh, and I tend to eat a lot of veg and I just try not to eat rice and you loads have to have of doughy stuff. You don't you? You have to yeah, treats. well, I, I have a glass of wine a night, I'm, they like, are? like you. 
I like a glass <laughs> of wine. I know you do. <laughs> I do. I would never give that but up. But I've started drinking red wine because I heard somewhere really it's good for you. Yeah, it yeah. is. Well, yeah. one glass a day. I can't stop at one glass. <laughs> do, you, do you think it would? I mean, at your, you, you mean you are looking really well. But do you think it would help if you had a fitness buddy? You know, like Robbie and Gary are doing. Maybe Geraldine, could you be your fitness buddy? Yeah. I don't think I'd be able to yeah. keep up. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to put a bit of work in there, love. Geraldine, what do you <laughs> think? You... I've got a dilemma. Look, short... <laughs> banana or shortbread? <laughs> oh, oh, this one's winning. Does that mean you've, you've cut out the two pints of lager and a packet of crisps? Then? Well, yeah, I mean, no, I do. I, I love a beer, you know what I mean? I'm a bloke, yeah. you know, I love going out and stuff. It's just, it's just you know, in small, mm. more, small measures. And, you know, I'm, I, I'm not one of them that can go to the gym. I get bored yeah. of it. So I do work out and stuff like that, but it's mainly out of vanity. But what about, what about gas? See, cutting Gaz, out two back. pints of Well, I've just finished the, the ninth series. We finished filming that um, last week. Um, and yeah, and that's the ninth series, and um, we don't know what happens after that. But okay. um, there's a big ending to it. And I've got another BBC One series that comes out that I've filmed and produced that comes out in a couple of months. You'll see that. What's that about? Well, it's about a family. It was just, it was a show in America called Grounded for Life, and it was on for 100 episodes out there. And then the exec producer who did the Cosby Show and Roseanne, and she came over and wanted me to, to play lead in it. So uh, I was very grateful. And then we sort of worked on the script to make it right for English TV. Yeah. So it's going to be set. In Manchester, so I don't have to put an accent on. It's <laughs> and, then, uh, um, and it's a council estate family who have got, um, yeah, uh, we're young parents, so we've been, okay. we had kids at 18, we're 30 now, and we've got a 14 year old daughter. Warren Clark plays my dad, and it's dealing yeah. with the issues of that, but we love each other, but it's just getting through them issues. It's and a that's great a potted show. history. That was good. That was very fast. Yes, I've tried, I tried to get it in because I thought it was. Yeah. yeah. You, it's great to see you. Good luck with White Van Man. Thank you very much. And all Thank that. you. Will Miller, everyone. Thank you. <laughs>